Hi guys, welcome to my Scabby Seuss channel. This is Robin and Daryl, and we're continuing with this box 110. If you see anything in this box you'd like, please leave a comment under the comment section with the timestamp, description, and price of the item that you see that you want. If you haven't uh, done business with me before, email me at myscowitch2 at gmail.com. Give me your PayPal email, your, um, your YouTube name, your full name, and your address. And uh, then you can go ahead and start commenting and ordering. And so grab yourself something refreshing to drink. Sit back, relax, and we're going to show you some more jewelry. So let's get started. We have this silver tone necklace with a little bow, rhinestones, and this um, lirette type necklace, silver tone. This is very cute with the little bow. Here's the back. Looks like it's got a mark on it. I don't know what. But we'll find out. I will check it. Well, I'm not sure. I think I see N-A on it. It's got a spring ring clasp because this is the extender. It actually has a lobster claw clasp, but you have this uh, spring ring extender that's been added with the little bead. Nice little silver tone Rollo chain. Again, your little bow necklace. Very cute. We do three dollars on this necklace. It measures fully extended with that extender 20 inches. The next is this beautiful Lirette type. These look like they're pewter almost. Beautiful snake chain to match. Very good condition. Here's the back. I don't see any marks on this. And it's going to have different lengths depending on how for you to have this hang and so we're not going to measure this but it will fit over anybody's head and we'll do this one for four dollars here's our next necklace we have gold tone with another um, jadeite heart I believe that's gold tone mm -hmm. Let me test this little heart. No, it tests that nephrite versus jadeite. That surprised me. Yep. Me too. Still a jade. Here's your gold tone necklace. It's got a spring ring clasp. I don't see any markings on it. There's no wear on it. The bell is a little um, tarnished. I can't tell if that's something on there or not. Oh, yeah, it is tarnished. It says sterling. See if I can get that to where you can see it. There you go, Sterling. Little Jade Heart. It's put on this gold tongue chain, though. We'll do that one for ten. The next is Lobster Claw Class Extender with a pretty um, bead. No extender. Just a pretty little bead on where it clasps. Silver tone chain. Acrylic beads. Silver tone, gray, black. 
lightweight necklace, double stranded. It is thirty thirty four and a half inches. Sorry, I had to think. Thirty four and a half inches will do that for three dollars. We have a pretty little heart, rhinestone and pink and clear on a gold tone chain. And then this knotted pendant on a silver tone chain, long. Or they call them puzzles. Here's the cross. It's very pretty. Here's the back. Not sure what that says on the back. But here you go. The chain on this is in very good condition. It's a Rolo chain. Another spring ring clasp. It is 17 inches in length. We'll do this one for three. These are what they call those puzzle rings. When they're like this, they kind of roll around. But if you undo one, they all fall apart. That's why they're called a puzzle. And you've got two sizes that make this beautiful pendant. This is a nice curved chain here. Lobster claw class extender with the bead, long necklace. Very weighty. It's got a nice weight to it. It's 32 inches. We'll do this one for three. Okay, here's our next two. We have the Libra sign here, gold tongue necklace, and then this Copacalli, Cop Copelli, I think that's how you pronounce it, silver piece there on that cord. Here's your stars. Libra sign. Here's the back. It's in good shape. Nice Rolo chain. It's a little bit worn. Lobster claw class extender with the bead. This one is fully extended is twenty one inches. We'll do this for two. You can see some of the wear on the chain there. Nice pendant. Here's your Capelli or Cocopelli. I'm not sure which way it goes. It's marked here on the back. And I can't read it. Let me see if I can uh, help here. It's like a wave. And I don't know what else. Yeah, that's all I can make out. It's got something on the back. It's kind of worn. Let me look at the bell. I don't see anything in the bell. It's a large bell. You'd have to cut this cord to get it off. There's your bell. 
and then here's that part. I don't know if it's silver or not. I'm going to test it. Nope, it's not silver. It is magnetic. We'll do this one for uh, $2. Next we have a pretty gold tone chain with a stone, a vintage stone piece, and then this mixed metal multi-chain necklace. Here's your stone. I'm going to test this in a minute. Very unusual. Here's your chain, very gold tone. No wear on it with a spring ring clasp. This goes up to jadeite. Again, here's your stone. This necklace is 18 inches. We'll do this one for eight. It's very pretty. Next one is a multi stranded lobster claw clasp extender with the bead. You have box chains, curve. This is a curve, this is a box, another box, and then a curve with beaded stations. Very pretty. It is fully extended at its shortest drop. It's 18 inches. We'll do this for three. It's very pretty. Here's a little pearl necklace and some chains. And then this beautiful when it's dark look for stars pendant on a beautiful rope gold tone rope chain. Love that. Here's your lobster claw clash, your extender. You have these end caps here and then your chains. And it's probably a little tangled up. That's why it's not laying right. So let me fix that. I guess it's not cooperating. Just when you think you have it, the other end wants to do its thing. Okay. Almost done. There we go. Did that do it? No, I did it the wrong way. Okay, I think I got it. There it is. These pearls look like they're actual pearls. Giving you a closer look at them. And we're going to do this necklace for $2. And then this beautiful necklace. Here's your pendant. I love this. Very inspirational. And it's done with enameling. I'm trying to see if those stars have little stones in the center. Let me look at. 
No, they have white enameling in the center. That's what I was trying to figure out. The white enameling. Here's the back. And then here's your beautiful rope chain. See the diamond cutting on that? Makes it really sparkle. It is... KA... 1778, whatever that is. Italy. 925. So it's gold over silver. Here's your lobster claw class. It's Mark 925 also. This necklace is 24 inches. And we're going to sell that for 20. Love that. I love these next two necklaces too. Here's our next two necklaces. This beautiful blue station necklace, beaded necklace. And then this beautiful glass necklace here. Wired, long, colorful. This one has a lobster claw clasp. It's marked Monet. It's beautiful. These are glass, beautiful blue glass beads. I love the colors on this. Remind me of the ocean. Caribbean Ocean. Mm, 16 more days. 18, 18 inches at the low, at the first drop. We'll do this one for eight. It's very pretty. This is Lobster Claw Clasp. It's a Cookie Lee, vintage Cookie Lee. Very good condition. These are beautiful glass beads on this. Just going to go through it so you can see it. Our metal. There is metal beads. The rest is glass. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Long necklace. And it is it hangs very well. You can see it just drapes so nicely. Very well made. It is 41 inches. And we'll do this one for eight. It's beautiful. Very colorful. Okay, we have a hand, a gloved hand, on a curved chain that's very vintage, and then this pretty little chain, gold tone. You can see it hooks. There's no mark on the hook. Here's the underside of the hand. I'm not sure if that's a mark on that hand or not. Let me give you a length. It is 17 and a half inches. We'll do this unusual piece for four dollars. Very different. Very vintage. The next is this pretty necklace with a spring ring clasp. 
I don't see any markings. Love the chain here. You can layer this chain with other chains or wear it alone. It is almost 24 inches. And I don't just see any marks on I that. I don't see anything. Of course I'm half blind, so you better check. Yeah, better. No, I don't see anything either. Is it magnetic? Yes. Maybe, uh, I would say so. So it is base metal. We'll do this one for three. It's a vintage chain. And it's well done because it's not tarnished at all. This uh, lot had a lot of vintage in it. Vintage stone and vintage pendants and necklaces. Here's another one to speak of on a silver tongue uh, chain. And this one here with the stone above it, that's beautiful. Almost looks like it's a labradorite, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it closer. Here's this one. I believe this is probably some kind of um, jade stone in there. Here's the back. Here's your uh, curved chain with a spring ring clasp. Does it say sterling up there? No, okay, no sterling. At least it doesn't say it is, so let's see. Nope, not sterling. About that. Nope. Let's test the little stone. It's not jadeite. It could be nephrite or chrysophrase. I'm not sure. This one is 18 inches, and we'll do it for $4. It's very pretty. The next one Yeah, I'm just not sure about that. Beautiful little stone here. It looks like a rhinestone. Here's the back. This is Leah Sophia. So I know that this is not Labradorite. It doesn't have any... I just like the way it... It kind of looks like it, but no, it's not. It's just either some kind of special glass. Or I'm not sure. Not sure on that. But we have a spring ring clasp and a beautiful uh, curved chain here. A nice length on this. We'll do this one for $3. It is 24 inches. Leah Sophia. $3. We have a simple little pearl necklace on a beautiful gold tone chain. I guess it's gold tone. Beautiful charmed necklace here with the elephant tassel, the Hamza hand, the love, the heart, and something behind that. Beautiful Rolo chain. Sometimes you can see it better on camera than you can on uh, anything else. That's all I see. I don't see any other marks. I love this pearl. 
and it's magnetic. Let me give you a link on this. It is 17 inches, and we'll do this for $2. It's gorgeous. We have this one with a arrow. Lobster Claw Class, extender with the bead. Nice Rolo chain on this. It's a brassy gold, antique gold color. There with the heart. Mixed metal. The little stone. The love. The Hamza hand. The elephant. And the tassel. This necklace is... I had to fully extend it first. The extender on this is 3 inches. Fully extended, this necklace is 34 inches. So it goes from 31 to 34 inches, depending on where you fasten it. And we'll do this one for 5. Here's my next two necklaces. We have the little horse, the rainbow colored of, or the different pastel color rhinestones in it. Snake chain, and then this cute little feathered owl on a Rolo chain, and it's extra long. I just have it doubled up there. There's the horse. Pretty little rhinestones in that. Here's the back. This is in excellent condition. This, uh, no, it's not a snake chain. It's a uh, box chain. Apologize for that. This is a box chain. Long. Lobster claw class extender with the bead. This is well made. It is, don't fall asleep on me, 17 inches. Oh. We'll do this one for three. Very cute. And then we have Mr. Hootie Owl here. He is so cute with his little feathers. Love this. Articulated feathers. Beautiful rhinestones. Encrusted with rhinestones. Black rhinestone eyes. Here's the back. On a acrylic white chain. Rollo chain. With a lobster claw class extender with the bead. This is very cool. Just in time for fall. Fully extended. The extender on this necklace is three inches. Fully extended, it is 37 inches, so that means it goes from 34 inches to 37 inches. And we'll do him for 10. Very cute. Nice chain. Here's our next necklace. It's a little bird. If it were a crow, I'd be keeping it. But it's not. I feel like I'm find you some crew. Yeah, necklaces. we have to find some crow stuff. Ugh. And a little locket. On a beautiful rope chain there. Owls are going to be jealous. I know. Well, the owls haven't come to see me this year. I haven't seen an owl in the backyard in a long time. Don't even hear them hooting anymore at night. Oh, I do. Oh. Well, I haven't deserted them. Lobster Claw Class, extender with the bead, Rollo chain. I have the other sweet little hummingbirds come to the house. And redbirds and woodpeckers. 
This necklace is 17 inches. We'll do this one for three. It's very sweet. Very nice locket necklace. Let's see if I can open it. Just needs cleaning on the inside. Class, really nice. I love the design on it. And then this chain is gorgeous. It's in excellent condition with a spring ring clasp. This necklace is 10 under 24 inches, I'd say 23 and a half inches. That's more than a tad, isn't it? 23 and a half. A we'll do this one for five. It's a what? Skosh. Skosh? What's that? More than a tad. Oh. <laughs> How do you know all this stuff? So make it up. <laughs> oh, you made it up? Oh, I was wondering. Well, I've never heard of that. What did, what would you do the necklace? Oh, there it is. No. Wait, those, those triple strand, they don't like me. No, I know what. They don't know what they're missing. Okay, here we go. I got it. Okay, here we go. Our next necklaces. We have this beautiful silver tone glass beaded necklace. It uh, connects with a toggle. I love that. And then this beautiful orangey and gold tone colored three-stranded necklace. It's kind of the colors are kind of drowned out by the bright lights. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so you just put this around your neck and fasten it up front. It's got these beautiful glass beads. I don't know if that's glass or stone on that one, but I'm going to say glass because the others are glass. Love the chain on this. It looks like it's stainless steel. It's in good condition. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yeah, just very slightly. It's a well-made necklace. It is. Sixteen inches, maybe a tad more, but not much. We'll do this one four or five. It's very pretty. Love that. There you go. And then this one it's got a lobster claw class extender with the bead. It's a three drop. There's its more true color here. Very pretty. Now, these are shell and this is metal. The rest doesn't feel cold. So I'm saying the rest of the beads are acrylic. But it's very pretty. This lays well. It's in great condition. And it, at the shortest point, is 20 inches. It's fully extended. The extender is 3 inches. So it goes from 17 to 20 inches on the first one. And we'll do this one for $3. Very pretty. Before I put it up. Here's our next two. Beautiful gold tone tiger eye necklace. Love this pendant. Beautiful chain. And then this three stranded chain necklace. This is a vintage necklace with those fluted beads. Is that thunder? Airplane. Airplane. 
Okay. Here you go. This is gorgeous. Needs some cleaning because it's that, it's that highly polished. Very pretty tiger eye piece. Beautiful gold tone chain. Spring ring clasp. It is 18 inches. And we're going to do this one as a treat for $3. It's very pretty. Very worth that. This one is a vintage fold over class. It is a named piece. Pakula, P A K U L A. I'm not familiar with that. I know this is very vintage. I love the beads on this. I don't know if it's magnetic or not. It is magnetic. But it's in excellent condition as far as the metal goes. And the workmanship on this. This necklace is 28 inches. 28 inches at its shortest. And we're going to do it for eight. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we have two more. We've got another beautiful set for the holiday here. Beautiful red drop Y necklace and the earrings down here to match. And then we have this this metal necklace here in a brass color, textured and smooth. This one has a fold over clasp, rhinestones all the way up to the um, clasp. They're all there. This is very pretty. And here's the earrings. This set looks brand new. Doesn't look like it's been worn. I should take it on the cruise. Uh, but I'm going to sell it. And I will sell this for $5 for the set. That's very beautiful. The next is a lobster claw extender with the bead. Rope chain has got a dark color. It's a brassy color. And then these brassy parts here. This necklace is 21 inches, and we're going to do it for $3. It's very pretty. Here's the back. It's in good shape. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching our video. If you like these kind of videos, please give us a thumbs up. It didn't cost anything. It makes us smile. Hope we made you smile today. And um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when we put up a new video. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the Edgar video i might have another one and we will see you guys we have plenty more to do so oh yeah we'll see you in a few bye now bye bye